Make all physic connections. It is important to do all wired connections before starting the setup of the controllers, like the pump and all the needed actuators for the system. Once all physic connections have been made on the controllers and the lids have been mounted, we are ready to switch on the power. Setting of local language. You can choose to set your local language on the controllers. Press menu and use the arrows to choose language version. Press menu. By using the arrows, you find your local language. Choose it by pressing menu. We choose English for this demonstration. Connecting master and extension controllers. As you see in the displays, there are no active zones on the controllers. The first thing to do is to connect the two controllers to each other. We start with the master controller. Press the button Menu and choose Additional Modules. Press Menu. It is possible to connect up to four extension controllers. Choose Module 1. Press Menu. Confirm registration and the master controller starts searching. On the extension controller, we choose Master Module. Press Menu. Confirm registration and the extension controller finds the master controller very quickly. As you see, both controllers are now connected to each other. Pairing a room thermostat. When pairing a room thermostat to the master controller, the first thing is to install the batteries. Lift the snap lock to slide the back plate off the thermostat. Be aware of plus and minus polarity when inserting the batteries. When the temperature is shown, the thermostat is ready for pairing. Slide on the back plate again. Press menu on the controller and select Zones. It is possible to connect up to eight thermostats or sensors to the master controller and the same to each extension controller, a total of 40 zones in one system. Select Zone 1, press Menu, select Registration, and confirm with Menu, and the master controller starts searching. Press briefly on the pairing button of the thermostat, and it is registered. Confirmation is seen on the display of the controller. Press Menu and return to the Overview using the Exit button. Now you see that the thermostat is connected to Zone 1. You also see the actual temperature, the set point temperature, the signal strength and the battery level. The room thermostat has a built-in humidity sensor. To display this, press the Menu button in the middle. If you want a different setting than constant set point, you choose this after having chosen a new set point. Simply push left arrow when CON is displayed. And you can select a period of hours for the new set point to be active. You see that a countdown has started in the display. When the time is up, the set point returns to the original set point temperature. You can also choose to set the mode to off, which means that the thermostat follows the mode set on the controller. Push left arrow until off is shown in the display. Pairing a room sensor. When pairing a sensor to the extension controller, the first thing is to install the battery. Unscrew the lid. Insert the battery correctly. Watch out for the red LED to light up and the sensor is ready for pairing. Press Menu on the extension controller and select Zones. Here we see that the eight zones are named from 9 to 16, as the first eight zones are in the master controller. Select Zone 9, press Menu, select Registration and confirm with Menu, and the extension controller starts searching. Press the pairing button briefly inside the sensor and the sensor is registered. Confirmation is seen on the display of the controller. Screw the lid back on.
press menu and return to the overview using the exit button. Now you see that the sensor is connected to zone 9. You also see the actual temperature, the set point temperature, the signal strength and the battery level. To change the settings of the sensor, you need to do this on the display. Press menu, select zones, select zone 9 and choose set temperature. Use the arrows up down to set the set point temperature. Press menu and confirm. In the same way as on the room thermostat, you can change the mode to a limited period of hours. We stay on CON in this case. Press menu and confirm. On the overview, you see the new desired set point has changed to 20.5 degrees. Display overview of the master controller. The display of the master controller shows the connected thermostats and sensors. If you see an arrow on the sides, it means that one or more extension controllers are connected. If you press arrow down, you see that there is one zone, 9, connected to an extension controller. If you want to change something in this zone, you must do this on the extension controller itself. It's possible to select different views in the display. Press the exit button. By choosing zone, you can see the humidity in the room if the thermostat or sensor has a built-in humidity sensor. It's possible to scroll between the rooms using the arrows. Choosing sensors gives you a very simple overview where you see the actual temperature and set point temperature. Information in the display. The display of the master controller gives an overview of the zones and settings. You see which zones are connected, zone 1 to 4. You scroll between the zones by using the arrows. In this case, zone 1 flashes, meaning that the zone is calling for heat. You also see small arrows floating upwards indicating the same. You see the actual temperature is 20.8 degrees and the set point is 22 degrees and that the mode is constant. You also see that the pump is running and that a signal is given to an external boiler to start producing heat if connected. 